Swami tells us about the four qualities that you need to be eligible. And this is all he, you know, when Swami talks, it is not different from pure Upanishads and Vedanta. It's pure Vedanta. Vedanta is not some bunch of old people who sat thousands of years ago and decided, okay, I'm getting bored, I'll write something fantastical or something mind-blowing so people get to read. No, this is all intuitively understanding the cosmos, you know, so it's very powerful. And therefore, everything that they say has this aim in view that you will ultimately understand how powerful you are within you, how much of power is there within you. We have forgotten that. You know, so for example, there is a, a Siddhanta in, in astrology called Vedic Su Surya Siddhanta, for example. It's not just astrological Siddhanta. Siddhanta is a writing, a treatise, if you will. It's not just for astrological purposes. It is, it is one of the earliest documents. People are still debating over whether it was 10,000 years old or 12,000 years old. Now, after it's, you know, <laughs> does it really matter? Beyond 2000, it's it's an old document. This was when science says people were living in the Stone Age, but not so in India, not so in that part of the world, not so in that continent. We were thousands of years ago. This Siddhanta, for example, talks of trigonometry, heights of mathematics. It's introduced, it's taught in that. Apart from that, they talk about the cosmos that surrounds us. They talk about the planets. Now you and I, with all our education, if we go in the night sky today and we say, look up and tell me where is Saturn, what would you do? You would say, wait a minute, we'll open the app and say, let me see, Trinidad app, Saturn's in the sky, where? He'll teach you where. That is Saturn. Hopefully, if the app works fine and you have Wi-Fi connection or whatever, right? Otherwise, you're lost. That's how disconnected we are. And yet, with no app, no telescope, no modern instruments, these people are documented not simply where Saturn is. They say, you know why Saturn is considered the shadow planet? Because beyond Saturn, no sunlight goes. They say Saturn draws a boundary for the sunlight. The sun which is expanding, Saturn says, enough, not beyond me. So, not only have they described Saturn as a planet, they discuss the diameter of Saturn and shows and they write how light the planet is it's mostly full of gas now science, nasa is finding the diameter of saturn the distance between earth and saturn is documented there and it's 95 percent close to nasa how is that how is that even possible diameter of jupiter is distance from the earth to jupiter diameter of the moon distance from earth to moon earth to sun earth to mars they call Mars as Bhumi Putra, son of the earth. At some point they have documented that earth is it's born from the earth. It's possible sometime in the future. Science is going to say that some meteorite or something billions of years ago hit the earth and this separated itself from the earth and it's formed this planet. But that's why it has a lot of earth-like qualities in Mars. But we are not they're not writing it today. They've written it thousands of years ago. They call it Bhumi Putra, son of the earth, Mars. So how beautiful is that awareness where did they get that awareness from this is where baba asks us that question how did they know all this how did they know the universe how did they know all this how did how, how were they able to build these temples with perfect accuracy of geometry and architecture our buildings don't withstand slight earthquakes these days but these temples have withstood thousands of years of natural disasters there is a temple in the south below sea level in Tirichandur it is called, Murugan temple, son of Shiva. This among the six temples is a very powerful temple. It said after destroying the Asuras, he went there, he got ready for the battle and all that. So anyway, this temple is below sea level. When tsunami hit the entire coastline, this section was somehow, the sea got subdued, didn't, didn't cross into that. Even though all the villages nearby went under. The question is, how did these architects know at that point the temple built here will last forever? Because they don't build temples temporarily. They build temples forever. Because they valued this idea. They chose those places. They knew exactly how the sea will not overcome. And the architecture is so beautiful that the temple is almost half a kilometer long. A huge temple. And so the eye of the main deity, Lord Kartikeya, the eye, looks at the, the most external door which is facing the sea there's a keyhole in that door 
So this I and that is an exact same line. Same, absolutely mathematical precision to the point zero 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 one percent accuracy. It's on the same line. It's almost like his eye can see the sea. So they say his eye keeps the sea under control there, and it will not. Now that is one side of the belief pattern. But they wanted to prove that with also with how do they choose these places? What kind of knowledge did they have that connected them so close to this cosmos that they understood? That was mindfulness. Mindfulness is knowing my place in the cosmos. Not the fact that I'm sitting here, I'm alive, I'm thinking, oh, I smell coffee or I'm saying I'm mindful. Yes, you are. Yes, 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 you are. Don't get discouraged. You are mindful. But how can you take that to the next step? I'm mindful of where I am in the cosmos. So that makes me environmentally conscious. We have lost that completely because we lost connection to the earth. Right? So this is Swami would say, how did they know their place in the cosmos? And we had no answer. And Swami said, they knew one thing. They knew one thing by which everything else is known. They knew one thing by which everything else is known. So simple, right? He didn't say study 10, 4 Vedas, 108 Upanishads, they were masters. No, he said they know one thing by which everything else was known. What was that one thing? <laughs>